Hi, I'm Darren Jones here in Benamichi, Sonora, Mexico, in the heart of the Sierra Madres, about three hours south of the border. And I'm introducing some folks to one of the best products that we've found in our many years of traveling in Mexico. And that is the lost distillate of the agave spirit Bacanora. Bacanora is a product that comes from the state of Sonora and is actually produced in 38 different municipalities. What makes this agave distillate much more rare and much more pure and organic than tequila or other types of mezcal or sotol is the fact that this comes from a wild agave, 100%. Agave agostomphilia. It's a silvestre or wild agave that grows up in the high mountains in the Sierra Madres. When they find these plants, they're usually seven to eight years old, and they find that they have a maturity level when they put out a big stalk that will eventually have a flower seven or eight feet tall and these people that make this product will cut that stalk off just as it's growing so the sugars that would have gone up into the flower in the, in, in the agave stay in the heart and it makes for a much sweeter and better tasting Bacanora product. Then they come back eight to twelve months later and harvest that plant cutting off the leaves, digging it up and then putting that 20 to 65 pound heart on a burrow with many other hearts. The burrow gets weighted down and comes down the mountain. They then take and have this pit that have, they have dug in the ground. Many times these pits have been used for many, many generations and they're lined with river rocks. They create a, a big bed of natural mesquite, carbon, charcoal uh, base and add more river rock to it and then add all the, the cabeza, the heads, the hearts into the, into the hole and they cook this in an oven underground, usually covering it up with a big piece of quarter inch to half inch steel and a bunch of earth and letting it bake for two days. Then they take out the hearts and they've softened a bit and they will grind these things up to pulverize them. The old fashioned way was using the back end of a square end of an ax and just smashing them. Today they've got a little more modern methods to pulverize the product and put them into 55 gallon barrels and then add nothing but natural rainwater. No added yeast, no added sugar. And they'll let this ferment for seven to 10 days depending on the time of year. And then they run it through a distillation process where the alcohol comes out at, at different specific gravities. So just like any distillation process, the first part that comes out is called the head the middle is the heart, the back end is the tail. And the, the, me, the mescaleros that make the best bacanora, they say that making a fine bacanora is just like finding the right woman. You, you keep all of the heart, just the right amount of head and the right amount of tail. And put this together and then distill it all again, a double distillation process to refine it even more, to take out the impurities, but leave all the flavor. And then this process comes out at about 130 proof. Then they have to mix it down with rainwater again to get it in the 80 to 85 proof level. This Cielo Rojo is made by a family called the Contreras family about 35 minutes south of here. Actually, that's to their driveway and it's another 45 minutes up the driveway. But the Contreras family has been making Bacanor for generations. The Cielo Rojo is uh, the finest and the most um, reliable, high quality product that we've been able to find. There are many, many other Bacanoras in the area, but this is the one that gives the guests that satisfaction each and every time where they want to brag about it and tell their friends about finding the most pure alcohol on the planet. Now, if you'd like to find out more information how you can enjoy something that's going to be reminiscent of angels dancing on your tongue, please email me at Mexico Eco Resort at gmail.com. That's Mexico, like the country, eco, E-C-O, resort at gmail.com. Thanks a lot.